mistaken That can be all faking City is your friendly radio Cha-cha-cha, 17 minutes to 8, horoscopes in a moment. 42 Adam Avenue, Great Sutton, South Wirral, and a daughter getting a mention because it's her birthday. Carolyn is 10 today, and the request is for Shut up your face, sort of Giuseppe, a sort of pizza down to your trousers. Debbie, Dave, Mum and Dad, the Randalls, would like me to say hello and wish her all the best. Caroline, I'll play that record before 8, and that's the Thomas Promise. Horoscope's at 15 minutes to 8, and if you're an Aquarius, then it's good news today, which makes you feel a lot happier, and a recent worry seems to disappear. Pisces, where a friend may have a good idea today, worth consideration, and this could be beneficial to you both in the long run. Aries, and if you've got friends and relatives abroad, you may hear something from them today. Taurus, try and see another person's point of view today before arguing with them. And Gemini, don't be drawn into something today that you know in your heart is naughty and wrong. Yeah. Got a boyfriend? Yes. Is he big? Not as big as you. <laughs> <laughs> she says all the right things, doesn't she? Mrs. Butler's eldest Playing all the hits and more Billy Butler's doing it For Radio City on one night floor It's 12 minutes to 2, which is a pretty accurate time check. Well done, Billy. It's OK. I do it right now and then. I bet you don't know who this is with the voice of a film star. I've mortgaged all my castles in the air. Right, let's see who James Turner thinks it is. James phoning from Page Moss. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Bill. Right, who do you think, James? Well, here's the same sign put me off a little bit. I thought it was William Bendix in his early days. William Bendix? Gosh. Yeah, no, he sang once or twice in some of his early films. William Bendix. I remember when he got shot by MacDonald Carey in the yeah. streets of Laredo. Oh, I remember that. Remember, he was his mate, yeah. and while I was talking to him, he shot him under the table. Yeah. Which is a very bad place to be shot in. <laughs> it's not him, no. No, I don't. Not William Bendix. I always get the girl. Pat Constantine of Bootle. Hello. Hello, Pat. Do you think, Patricia? Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson! Yeah. No! Oh, right. Oh, bye. Bye. Everything <laughs> happens. Everything could we have cracked it? Mary Garrity is our last caller. Let's see if we've slipped through the net this morning, this afternoon. Hello, Mary. Hello. Mary, that was a film star. Who did you think it was? Jeff Chandler. Radio City. What we meant was who's playing the piano is what we really meant, not who's singing. In movies, I'm a hero. There is nothing I can't do. I always get the girl. Jeff Chandler, yes. Was him, yes. Jeff Chandler. Gosh. Maybe it's God punishing me for hanging the man, do you think, Wally? And for number nine, Willow Close in Bebbington, a request now. Says, Joe, could you play a record for Mrs. J.M. Horton? Because I'm going away to Sheffield on Monday and tell her I love her and I'll be home quite soon. It's her daughter Gail sends that one into you there. And Joe, could you please play the first ever single by the police called Fallout, as I've never heard it on Radio City before, and dedicated to all the police fans and to everybody in the Outlandos fan club and all my police pen pals and to Arthur George Stampley, otherwise known as Mrs. Spot. <laughs> For an Arthur, that's not bad. And lots of love, Joe, from Steve Preston from Salford and P.S. Liverpool are magic. <laughs> no comment. And another one says here, has Dave Eastwood got a brother called Clint? <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> And to number 60, Lloyd driving, Greasby on the wheel. Joe, could you please play Dollars Handheld in Black and White for Philippa Baker, who is six today. She's having a tea party this afternoon at her nana's. I hope you can play the record especially for her, Joe. That was sent in by Steve Baker. So they... Radio City, playing 24 hours a day. Radio City, you know we lead the way. City on 
Yes, hello and a very good afternoon to you from me, Peter Levy. Welcome to City Extra on this Friday afternoon, ten minutes past two, our last afternoon together of this particular week. And I hope I find you uh, fit and well this afternoon and that your uh, problems uh, are small ones. The weekend uh, nearly here, which uh, for most of us means some uh, time off and a chance to relax. Either way, I hope very much that you'll be able to uh, stay with me through until six o'clock on the programme this afternoon. It was way back in 1959 when the shadows burst into the pop charts with a single called Apache. And today, 22 years later, they're still one of the world's most successful groups. They're in Southport tonight giving a show that's part of their biggest ever UK concert tour. My first guest on City Extra will be the most famous member of the group, Hank Marvin. Hank will be joining me on the programme at half past two. The Shadows and uh, their new single, which is called Telstar. OK, well, Hank Marvin has left us two tickets for tomorrow night's show in Southport, so we thought we'd hold a little competition. If you can tell me the title of the Shadows song Hank mentioned in the interview, which was a hit in the Eurovision Song Contest, then give us a ring on 227-2721, 227-2721, and we'll give the tickets to the first correct answer. So that's two tickets for Southport tomorrow night. If you can tell us the title of the Shadow song Hank mentioned in the interview, which was a hit in the Eurovision Song Contest, give us a ring, 227-2721, and we'll take some calls just after the three o'clock news. Three and a half minutes to three now. The Great Eastern Express, the Great Eastern Express. Again with you before we record it. I'll read it back to you. You can tell me if it sounds all right. We'll make a commercial. Should we make a commercial? All right, we'll try. We'll try one anyway. This is for Spotlight. If we get it right, it'll be a miracle, of course. All right, here we go. 30 seconds this last. Spotlight covers the others in the shade. There's a massive carpet clearance on now at Spotlight. Every single yard must be cleared before modernization. Rubber background quality 179, I tell you. Good. Spotlight covers, leave the others in the shade. There's a massive carpet clearance on now at Spotlight, and we only got to the first line. How about that? <laughs> the AO Axminters, all wool burbers, shag piles, and lots more. Remember, if you can buy cheaper anywhere else, Spotlight will repent double the difference. Spotlight discount carpets on the. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one. Here we go again. Spotlight covers, leave the others in the shade. There's a massive carpet clearance on now at Spotlight. Every single yard must be cleared before modernization. Rubber back lounge quality 179 a square yard. Good quality bedroom carpet 160. In fact, there's 400 rolls of bargains, including AO Axminsters, all wool burbers, shag piles, and many more. Remember, if you can buy cheaper anywhere else, Spotlight will refund double the difference. Spotlight discount carpets at the start of the M62 on Queen's Drive and the Concourse Scalmsdale. Open all week, late nights, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Spotlight carpets, leave the others in the shade. Spotlight. Got it. Wonderful. It's damp and overcast, the Liverpool temperature 55 degrees. At 12 o'clock, Rachel Purnell with Radio City News. Ken Berlinson, we're standing just uh, yards away from what is currently the world's largest aircraft. It's sitting on your apron here at Liverpool Airport. How are you feeling about that? Well, I'm absolutely del delighted, Diver, because the, the weather is fine, the people are flocking to the airport to see this magnificent machine. Uh, which arrived yesterday. It is truly the biggest aeroplane in the world and I'm delighted to think that so many people from Merseyside have turned out at this time on a Sunday morning to come and see this aircraft in our airport. I'm absolutely delighted. Quickly in towards Alan Kennedy. Chest it down inside the penalty area. He's gone on. Alan Kennedy has scored! Oh, would you believe it? Alan Kennedy has scored for Liverpool. And that 
should be the one that wins the giant trophy. To Anfield, and there it is. Phil Thompson lifts it up. It glitters in the Parisian night. Radio City, playing 24 hours a day. Radio City, you know we lead the way. Music and news will bring you far much more. Radio City, on 194. Please welcome on stage to present the prizes to Miss Radio City 1980, our Managing Director, Mr. Terry Smith. Right, six years on, sir. Are you proud? Very proud indeed. I'm just sorry we couldn't have 14 winners tonight, but we've got a great one for you. Okay, well you know who it is, I know who it is, everybody else wants to know. And Miss Radio City 1980 is... Contestant number three, Hazel Williams. for us on Radio City today. That we will be second to no one. People have actually have done us proud. Major Radio City investigation. George getting uh, sent home, I think, because he had blue suede shoes. And a very good morning from me to you to the breakfast show. Cut! <laughs> Britain's number one radio station. Uh, sent home, I think, because he had blue suede shoes. And a very good morning from me to you to the breakfast show. Cut! <laughs> Britain's number one radio station.